Yo, what up? It's your boy Chris with the Ignorance is Free. Like always, thank you guys for your continued support. And if you haven't already, definitely subscribe to the channel. Now, let's talk Young Buck, or better known to the court system as David Darnell Brown. Now, Brown, he's going back to jail, okay? So um, uh, he's going in for seven months, all right? He's just recently been taken into custody. Now, before they cuffed his ass, uh, he posted something on Instagram, uh, a nice picture in front of a fly-ass car, and the caption reads like this, uh, things didn't go as planned today, lost my freedom again, uh, Lord knows how much I'm gonna miss my mother, children, my girl, my real friends, and family, now, this isn't Buck's first time to the show, meaning jail, so the artist's rap sheet includes being a felon of unlawful possession of a firearm, and in possession of ammunition, uh, for which he got 18 months in prison. Damn. Uh, he began a three-year probation term in November 2013. Now, less than two years later, so after November 2013, uh, he provided false urine samples. So doctoring his own tests with someone else's piss. And this happened in August of 2015. So this was his third violation of federal prison. Now, why is he going to jail now for seven months? Like more recently, what is landing him back in jail? So Buck apparently doesn't know how to take a hint. All right. So remember one side of the story, this is what we're getting. And obviously this is legit because the nigga's getting locked up. So basically um, uh, the rapper's violation involved him contacting or trying to contact his ex-girlfriend more than a hundred times after being told by court order not to do so. So dude, like if you call her once and she you leave her a voicemail and she doesn't respond, okay, maybe give her a call again. But come on, a hundred fucking times. Now, the woman sought a protective court order in July after, um, uh, this is what officials said, uh, Brown went to her house to get property. He kicked in the fucking door like Biggie Smalls and threatened the woman with uh, physical harm. In addition to that, he actually threatened to burn the fucking house down. So, um, uh, you know, I guess she had enough. So she basically had the nigga arrested and um, uh, he's going back to jail. So, I mean, I don't know, like personally, Personally, this to me is fucking stupid. If you know you're on probation, why would you do anything to violate that? Like in, in his post, oh, I'm going to miss my mom. I'm going to miss my, 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 my kid. Like I'm going to miss all my friends and family. Nigga, you did that. You understand? I know women could get under our skin and make us do stupid shit, i.e. Chris Brown, Rihanna. But God damn, man. You know you on probation. You know you got shit to lose. Are you going to threaten to burn some? Uh, wait, allegedly threaten to burn someone's house down? Allegedly kick in the fucking door and threaten the woman with bodily harm? If you got shit over at the lady's house, just get your friend to go pick it up. You guys remember that episode of Seinfeld uh, where George was dating that one woman and um, uh, he, he left a book? over at her house and he, he didn't want to go back over there because he was afraid you know a for you know getting into an argument and b something would happen sexually and he would end up getting back with the woman which is something he didn't want to do so what did he do he sent jerry over there to go get the book see this is what you, you gotta think like why why wouldn't you do this so clearly it was much more than him just wanting to get his property clearly him getting his property was just an excuse for him to actually get over there. Now, um, uh, 50 Cent had something to say about this as well. He posted to Instagram, damn, the boy Buck got to do some time. They going to keep him today. Shake my head. He be all right. So, um, I don't know, man. I definitely want to know uh, what you guys think about this. Like, do you think that Buck was just being stupid? I personally think he was. Do you think there was another way to go about this? I personally think there was. So weigh in. I want to know what you guys think about this. Leave it in the comments. Uh, make sure you guys like, absolutely subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the ignorance is free and on Twitter at I'm Chris Green. I'm out. Bitch. Don't make me burn your house down.